Welcome to JC 24-7 as we continue our discussion on WOW, Women of Worth. And today, our subject, our theme is, She is Woman, Handle Her with Care. We have looked at women and their value and their worth through the eyes of women. Today, we are looking at women <laughs> through the eyes of men. And we have two experienced men here. Pastors Wayne Sampson and Michael Phillips. We are happy to have you both on JC 24-7. Good to be here. <laughs> Before we get into our discussion, could you please tell us, for the sake of the viewing audience, and this may qualify you to sit in on the panel this morning, how long, Pastor Sampson, have you been married? 37 years. 37 years? Yeah. And Pastor Phillips? 37 years. Okay, seems like you guys both planned this, huh? <laughs> you just didn't plan to get married to the same wife. <laughs> 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 so let's start with a basic question. It's very simple, but I suppose it's also profound. Why did God make woman? I did, the, the biblical answer is not good for man to be alone. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me put it now in, in some other <laughs> sort of different words. Right. She's significant to a man's sense of self and a man's appreciation of self. Okay. God looked at Adam and he, not good for you to be alone now, friend. I'm going to make you a helpmate. Oh. One that will cause you to understand self and to relate to self. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, Pastor Phillips, how, how can a woman, or what are some of the qualities, I should say, that would define a woman's worth? In your mind, these are some of the indispensable qualities that make up a woman's worth or value? All right, I would say uh, her ability to love. Mm -hmm. All right, God has made women with that ability to love and um, it is very important because it goes um, in several directions. Mm -hmm. To love her, her husband, her mate, mm -hmm. and to love her children. God right. gave her the maternal instinct. Wow. And, and even more than that, to serve her family. Right. And I'm taking this from Proverbs 31, where it talks about the virtuous woman mm -hmm. taking care of her family and providing for her right. family. Right. Good. Good. Pass you, pass you on that. Yeah, the answer. Yeah, beautiful answer. I, yeah. I agree with that altogether. And just to add to that, you know, based on my response earlier on the significance of the woman in a man's life, mm -hmm. a sense of self and appreciation of self, I see that woman then carrying the capacity to bring to bear three important things. A sense of independence, mm -hmm. dependence, and interdependence wow. in one given scenario yeah. to, in order to satisfy that very sacred space Good. as a wife in a man's life. Could you break down interdependence for us? Interdependence has to do with how can we bring together, when we are together, what are we shaping? Mm -hmm. What is the new thing we are creating? Mm -hmm. And there has to be your strength, my strength, mm -hmm. your weaknesses, mm -hmm. my strength. We come in together, an mm -hmm. interdependence right. that is shared. Right. But a person who is able to do that and manage that space mm -hmm. meaningfully got to be an individual who understands self. Right. So there's a measure of knowing self. I want right. to label as independence. Independence. But then, hey, for me to really have meaningful intimacy, I have to make myself vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I have to be dependent. Good. Right so that woman, mm -hmm. the capacity to bring those three things together in mm -hmm. one relationship, I think is the awesome strength of a, a real woman to know when to be dependent, when to be independent, mm -hmm. and when to be interdependent and or even bring all three together in mm -hmm. one given And there's experience. no time in, at all that she says, I could do without you, I don't need you in my life. Not at all. all right. How does that, mm -hmm. my, if my sense of self, mm -hmm. what it brings to the relationship, mm -hmm. it is always geared to serve. Okay. It is not wow. all alone. It's not a detached situation. My knowing myself, my appreciation of my de independence right. is not for my self-gratification, right. but it's for now a relationship. It's interesting you answer that way because, Pastor Phillips, I asked both of you to answer this question in particular because it seems both of you are saying the same thing in a different yes, way, different. that a woman's self-worth cannot be actualized or fully actualized without the presence of male. That's Am I correct? Sure. Yes. Good. Sure. Good. Um, what part does a male play in there for? In, uh, now, you did highlight it. You did allude to it, and Pastor, you also spoke about the virtuous woman, which 
Solomon defines, or if it's Solomon who defines it, or the wise man defines it as somebody who is in relationship, not out of a relationship, she's in relationship with somebody. Yes. And in this case, it's her family, her husband. Um, what part does a man play, Pastor Philip, in fully, in helping her to realize her sense of self-worth? Pastor Phillips. Well, the, 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 the best um, help that a man can give a woman is, is assisting her to develop the, 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 the capacity that God has given her. Mm -hmm. I am convinced that God has given women the capacity to develop in their own sphere mm -hmm. so, that, so, that, so that they have ability, they have skills, they have, they have the, 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 the opportunity to grow. Mm -hmm. And it's, 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 a, it's a powerful thing when a man can stand behind his woman mm -hmm. And, and, and push her to be the mm. best that she can be right. and to accomplish the best that she can accomplish Good. because that will assist her in her self-worth and mm. it will also generate a kind of love for him right. that he would be very happy that okay. he took that position. Beautiful. Pastor Samson, I want to get into some very um, controversial waters um, because con um, conversely, Pastor Phillips did indicate how a man could help a woman realize her sense of self-worth. I would also want to believe that he could also undermine her sense of self-worth. Would you agree that, to some extent, a woman is partly responsible for how she is treated? Um, let's, for instance, speak about the dress code. <laughs> Can her dress code invite a man to treat her in a particular way? Now, be very careful how you yeah, answer this. You, 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 you have just tossed <laughs> me into the river of controversy now. All right, okay. <laughs> but you're able. After, th after 37 years, you must be able. <laughs> you know, uh, and I, I, will, I will cautiously say yes. Right. Uh, one got to, got to face the fact that actions or non-actions will bring reaction. Right. And noting how men function, mm -hmm. that which they see, God mm -hmm. placed Eve in the presence of Adam, mm -hmm. and there wasn't mm -hmm. much of a conversation. Come on he now. saw it <laughs> and was, whoa, woman. It tells me that we were wired right. that way to see things, right. and that's the starting point right. of our entry into any given romantic space. Right. Therefore, a woman got to be quite mindful about what is given right. will determine the introduction. Have mercy. And uh, we have to agree that the world is not made up of all perfect men. We have men who are definitely broken. Mm -hmm. And their brokenness still yearns for comfort, mm -hmm. significance, and control. Mm -hmm. And if there is uh, this advertisement given, this wow. This wow that is given. <laughs> it, it creates, it impacts his mind, right. but in a negative manner. Right. I'm not saying that it is right for him to behave that way, mm -hmm. but there was, there was a starting point to this mm -hmm. that could have been handled in a more meaningful way right. by the sister. Uh, would you also agree that women are wired to know that men are attracted? They do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they do it all the time, the okay. self-presentation. Right. Some, some, some will do it in a very modest mm -hmm. manner that says, this, I'm worthy mm -hmm. to be handled in a given worthwhile manner. As a matter of fact, that brings to my mind the thought mm -hmm. that the, a woman is not in a position to negotiate her value unless she understands her worth. Hmm. So if she understands her worth as a woman, then the way she presents herself will get the same attraction, but the value will be different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am now seeing a woman that says, hey, I'm mm -hmm. worthy to be loved, but love me, love me with right. respect. Mm -hmm. If, however, you are, you, are, you are showing me all that there is mm -hmm. without my saying anything or doing anything, it says it's cheap fish on the market. So she shouldn't be shocked if the man comes onto her then? She may be shocked. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes there are many persons in their brokenness, that's all that they are aware of. Okay. And they perceive that to be sexy, mm -hmm. when in fact it is really messy. Mm -hmm. So it, that can also be a case. Now so she's now shocked. I didn't mean for him to come on that mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. We are dealing with the persons, and even though the world may not appreciate it, we live in a broken world. Mm -hmm. Men are broken to some extent. Women are broken just the same. And we have to be conscious of that. And so if we present to a broken man that which will appeal to his brokenness, right. That is the result so, you'll get. So, Pastor Phillips, 
a man should not therefore say that she made me do it to her. I mean, she made me abuse her, take advantage of her by her dress code, by her mincing and her walking and her behavior, her lifestyle. She invited me, I took up the offer, and I did what I did. Should he therefore say, she made me do it? No, he can't say that mm -hmm. because ultimately it is his decision right. to, to react or respond or mm -hmm. not to respond. Right. And we can take Joseph's case, Good. for example. Right. Potiphar's wife. Oh, yes. Um, the scripture says every day Come on, um, uh, she was behind him. <laughs> she was inviting every him. Every day he <laughs> got an invitation. Uh, the bed was made, <laughs> it was perfumed, <laughs> Flowers. everything was there, uh, we'll and see. the invitation was given. Like you were there, boy. Joseph said, I can't do it. Okay, okay. Because if I'm going to sin against God, I'm going to sin against. Um, myself, I'm going to sin against you. And, you know, I, 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 what he said, the last thing he said that was to me so important, he says, he says, you know, your husband gave me authority over the mm. entire mm. house, the entire, to do everything. But mm. he said, you, mm. he didn't give me authority over, over you. you. Beautiful. You can't do it. So though she gave him an invitation, no, he, he refused to accept he refused the, the invitation, invitation, which all men could do. All men can do. By the grace of God. By the grace yeah. of God. Because he did, God. he did appeal to the, the godly sense. Right. Yes. The high court. Yes. And says, no, I can't do no, this wicked no. thing. I he didn't even appeal to Mr. Potiphar. He no. said <laughs> to oh, God. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Pastor Samson, what are some of the things a man could say or do that would help him enhance a woman or handle the woman with care? Give me that question one more time. Um, some of the things a man could say. And the woman here does not necessarily refer to his significant other, mm -hmm. or his wife or his spouse, but it could be his mother, his sister, his niece. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things a man can do or say to help him handle the woman with care? All right. Mm -hmm. I, I first of all would want to ensure, mm -hmm. because several actions can be done, the right. same action can be done, right. and different messages be can sent. be sent. Beautiful. So first of all, I want to cradle it or Place it in the context of, hey, I want to send to you the message, I care. Right. I care about you. Right. And therefore, words of affirmation right. or deeds that are altogether meaningful to that individual will be done with that message, with the intent for that message to be sent. I want you to know I care, so I'm going to ensure that I take time to identify right. the things that make you as special as you are. Right. Note you well. In this postmodern era, I've got to be mindful who I say that to, when I say it, and such the like. Mm -hmm. But I now want to transmit the message I care, right. and therefore words of affirmation will be used. And deeds that will bring well, um, a sense of well-being to the individuals, right. mm -hmm. the individual will be committed. Beautiful. Unfortunately, our society is sort of muting us. Yes. Uh, muting our comments of affirmation. Yeah. Because sometimes it is taken not in the way it was given. That's right. Or it is not given in the That's way it right. is taken. That's right. And sometimes we have to be, you know, very reticent. Do you think we should be silent as a society or become silent in our comments or words of commendation? Again, first of all, in my own head, I've got to be aware and in my own heart be sincere. Mm -hmm. It's a message I care I right. want to send Beautiful. and nothing more. Beautiful. That in itself will cause my tone Okay. My timing Choice and such words. a like mm. to mm -hmm. be shaped in a particular way. Beautiful. I will not be careless with what I do and when I do it because we live in a world where things are so precariously poised and wrong interpretations can be had. Right. But I honestly believe that there is a space where genuine love can be shared consistently and I believe that is what Christianity is all about mm -hmm. and the Bible teaches us how to do just that that the world may know that we are following the one who sent us here. Yes, there, it, there, there is an appropriate time and place for that kind of sharing to be done. Beautiful. But it got to be given with the message, I care Beautiful. about you Beautiful. to be had. We're here talking about women of worth with pastors Wayne Sampson and Michael Phillip. Whoops. Psst. Oh, sorry. I am disrespect to you. <laughs> we will be right back, okay? Okay, ma'am? <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>
We are here with Pastors Wayne Sampson and Michael Phillip as we discuss women of worth. And our theme is, she is woman, handle her with care. Pastor Michael Phillips, I think I want to come to you with this controversial question as well. If a man feels continuously disrespected, and I put the accent on feels, continuously disrespected by his significant other, by his wife in particular, but she begs to differ, she does not see the error of her ways, what should the man do? What advice would you give the man if he comes to you and says to you, I feel disrespected by her, by the way she abuses me with words, or otherwise, what would you tell such a man? All right, th 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 there are several approaches we could take to this. The, th the first one, in terms of a solution, would be him expressing the hurt he feels mm -hmm. in the context of what she is saying or how she is saying what she is saying to right, him. Right, right. Um, this should um, appeal to her in a way that will help her to understand that while she may not ha have any um, negative um, meaning in what she's saying, right. but it is creating right. hurt in her partner. Right. And and this this with a a, a, a a discussion on how to how to reposition what is being said should um, should create a solution. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't help, then he should seek um, the help of a, a, a trusted a friend or relative. Right. Because. Um, Somebody speaking, maybe another woman, right. speaking to her might be able to say to her, Jane, you know, you're not speaking to your husband properly. Right. And this may kind of right. juggle her, her mm -hmm. mind. Mm -hmm. If this happens and nothing happens, then the time is um, ripe for counseling because it means that they are conversing at two different uh, modalities. Right. And it will, it will move from there into a more serious type of uh, interaction okay. that could be very, very conflicting. I hear you. So those three um, approaches are what I would recommend. Good. And I, I hope, I believe that mm. by the time we come to number three, All right. we would have a solution. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have number four, Pastor Sampson? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. You know, this is another, and I'm asking some controversial only because we have made them controversial. Mm -hmm. But it's written in the word of God. Two injunctions are given. Husband, love your wives. Mm -hmm. By the same apostle mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. says, wives, submit yourselves mm -hmm. unto your own husbands. Yes. Most people have no problems with the first injunction. Husband, love your wives as Christ loved the church. But when it comes to the second part, particularly women and mm -hmm. contemporary women, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands. Given the age to which we have come and in, the environment in which we operate, where there's so much abuse against women, how do you apply this part of the injunction? Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands. And um, there's a biblical instruction that I function with. Mm -hmm. may not necessarily satisfy societal operations. Mm -hmm. But the Bible tells me to live by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Right. Mm -hmm. And the Bible makes it quite clear in Ephesians chapter 5. That's where you're quoting from. Sure. Mm -hmm. First, submitting yourselves one to the other. Mm -hmm. That's the first injunction. The second, then he speaks to man because you are the head. Mm -hmm. Love your wife mm -hmm. as Christ loves the church. A very, a very, a very profound statement and one that carries with it divine energy. Mm -hmm. For a man to love his wife like Christ loves the church, not the way my papa loved my mama, hmm. or how I see it on, hmm. on television, but to love as Christ loved the church. Right. Christ didn't wait for the church to become before he loved it. He you. loved the church uh, for the church to become. All right. God you. is saying in the Bible then, listen man, a real man carries a capacity wow to go beyond just simply the, the trifling snares that are around him oh. and see something more than that. Right. Love your wife as Christ loved the church. There's a power in love that, that carries with it that is so overwhelmingly awesome mm. when it is consistently given by the grace of God and with mm. God in, involved in it, it brings the one that is being loved. Mm. Like the church, adorational surrender is the result. The church surrenders to Jesus' love mm. because, hey, what else could I, there's nothing else that I go, can go with. Mm. 
Mm. We are told to love that way. Mm. It means that men, mm. and that's our worst now, men, All right. we have the capacity given to us by God to love the woman that God placed in our space, to love them to the point where they can only do two things, mm. stop and think, mm. and then act mm. in ways that they would not have thought nor acted, mm. but your love is now causing them to do just sure, that. Sure. And then, God, then the Bible turns around and tells the woman, listen, mm. that man is under God. Come on now. Yield yourself for service. <laughs> Your real potential will be realized mm. when you submit to that, a man like that. Wow. I, I don't think that it, anything hideous is about that. Mm. Why would I be angry with my, my tap in my kitchen when I want water and I go to the tap? Yes, sir. I submit to the tap because the tap <laughs> is giving me water. Yes, sir. A man who is loving like Christ loves Right. It takes a satanically driven woman Have mercy, Jesus. to back away from something <laughs> like that. The Bible gives us a clear principle. Mm -hmm. It's a submitted, submission, firstly, by both of us. Mm -hmm. You are there to love me. I'm there to submit to that love. And then we see the, the birthing of things mm -hmm. in every realm. Wow. The birthing of things are realized when that kind of sharing takes place. They let us wow. about marriage wow. comes yeah. to be so a So you put a lot of the responsibility on the man, eh? And that, that's one of the God-given position of authority given to man, to be first. Not just responsibility, it's authority. Authority. Wow. Those two things. God, has, God, a real man, understands that. Mm. When God made man, he gave man mm. those responsibilities. Mm. And therefore, with that responsibility came a, along authority. Wow. Authority that is all cradled with a love that is like that of God. Wow. And for a woman not to submit to a man like that. I'm saying she's going to be satanically <laughs> driven. <laughs> <laughs> she that hath an ear, let her hear. <laughs> Pastor Michael, you want to disagree with this guy? <laughs> no, I, I, I cannot. I cannot. Uh, right. I cannot. In right. fact, um, my position is that um, there's no argument on the first part of the text. Mm. But right. usually we find some resistance on the second part, right. the, the, the question of submitting. Right. When submission should be a normal part of the expectation right. of the relationship. I hear you. In right. other words, a woman should not marry a man she is not prepared to submit to. Beautiful. Because that is not up for discussion. I hear you. Once the man, as Pastor Samson rightly says, does his part in, in, in loving as Christ loved the church, the woman has no, no um, other, um, right. um, no other obligation, obligation, mm -hmm. but to submit. That's right. So like if, like if, and forgive for the, forgive me for the poor illustration, but it's like you're applying for a job, but you want to take over the role of supervisor. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay. Do you have any examples? Can you cite any examples in the Bible of men who may have respected women, generally speaking? Anybody could respond to that? Any man that we can take some excerpts from? Well, Jesus is the is our greatest example. Right. Um, you know, he in every situation, Jesus mm -hmm. showed women uh, a certain type of respect that is is exceptional. Mm -hmm. You have Mary Magdalene, who was um, one of the greatest. Right. You have the woman at the well, mm -hmm. and you have um, 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 Martha. Right. And the, these, these three women, Jesus rarely showed them, you know, he, she, he, he was outstanding in his, how he related to them mm -hmm. in spite of their shortcomings. And of course, they existed in a society where women were, women yes. were on the <laughs> line. And they, so he yes. came to liberate women, in a sense, without yeah. forming women's liberation. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's right. That's it's right. a big difference that's here. Right. That's um, right. Pastor Samson, and maybe as we come to the end, there's some guy or some gentleman who are looking at this. They are hearing what you're saying, maybe for the first time, but they are finding it difficult to come to terms with treating a woman or handling women with care. Perhaps it could be how they were cultured and cultivated, mm -hmm. their own background. They grew up with men, and, and a strong man was a man who was expected to be in control, and no woman is going to tell me anything. I'll put her in a place. Now you are telling me about being gentle, somewhat, somewhat. If a man who is watching this telecast wants to hear what you're saying and wants to even heed what you're saying, <laughs> but is finding it difficult, what advice would you give such a man? First of all, I'll ask him um, what, what, what benefit he would have experienced with the, <laughs> the present course of action that right. he is having. Right. 
if, if those are adverse and negative, then of course they've got to be something else. Mm -hmm. But I've certainly from, from, I'll speak to him from my standpoint, my worldview about life is shaped by the Bible. Right. I know that there are several definitions for manhood mm -hmm. shared around, and some of those are really send us into the negatives that right. you are now alluding to. Mm -hmm. But the Bible gives to us a beautiful definition mm -hmm. for manhood. Right. Anyone who understands that knows exactly what he wants, right. what is his worth, really. And I will start there. I will take the time, point out to him, if he's so willing to take the time to understand, you may have been exposed to some things that are negative. Your socialization has given rise to some of those things that you are now feeling comfortable with. But look at the results. Therefore, there's need for us to look for some other option. Here is the word of God that gives to us. One, God gave to us three principles or three responsibilities, three core responsibilities as men. One, hey, there's a will beyond your will, bro, that you need to obey. Mm -hmm. You're not your own man. And many a times you hurt others because you just want your will to be satisfied. Mm -hmm. Where is the ultimate will? Where is it? And it has to be in God. What God wants for you there. Right. That's one, there's a will beyond your will. Then secondly, there is a work for you to do. And thirdly, there is a woman for you to love. Wow. And I'll take my time with what love truly is. Because the truth is, people are confused about this word called love. But the Bible didn't stop there. The Bible told us exactly how we should love as Christ's love. And you consider what a church is like. A church is configured with several individuals, different dispositions, personality, and what have you. Con a confusing bunch of people, really, you know. And Christ still loves that church for the church to become. Hey, your woman might be a little bit confusing because she came from a background that different from yours, with different expectations, different ideas, different values, and such and like. Maybe confusing. But if you understand who you are in God and the authority and the responsibility given to you to love that with God's help, you can be more than a conqueror. Pastor Samson and um, Phillips, we want to thank you so much for taking the time to share with us out of the bowels of your 37 years of experience <laughs> married to a woman. If I were you, I would listen to them because they come with a host of experience. But if you don't wish to listen to them, you can listen to JC 24-7. Bear in mind that when the curse was pronounced upon the woman, God said, he shall rule over you. But it's a curse they were meant to rule together. So if you will, women, you can realize your worth next to a man who knows the Lord. That's right. So in your choosing of the man of your life or the man for your life, choose somebody who knows JC 24-7. Thank you for taking the time to be with us. We look forward to having you once again. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you for viewing JC 24-7. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember to inspire your living as you prepare for heaven. You can get it all on GC 24-7.